Okay, Focus, I've never been so motivated to play a chess game. And here we are. Let's try to get to 2100 and from there on. And yeah, let's do the let's do the Kali system. And the black pieces are playing, it looks like the Dutch, yeah, like the Dutch defense. So nothing new. Kali system is very easy to implement. The other guy has a video on it. We don't care about that knight on b4 because the same move we wasted with the bishop, they will have to waste it with that knight after I attack it. So that knight that came to b4 is going back. And then I like knight g5. Now bishop c4 might be... Uh, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> uh, well, maybe I could play it. And if d5, yeah, I just take and then look at that square on e5. So weak square... What else do we want? Of course, they could always take the knight instead of the bishop on a6, but I doubt it. There you go. And now I'm ready to land on e5. Of course, the black pieces could always play knight e4, but e4 is not a weak square. I can kick that knight out with my f2 pawn. If I get to e5, there's no black pawn that could ever attack me. So that's why e5 is a weak square. E4. Ah, there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. If they take with their bishop, then their king's side is going to be very weak. So now it's all about going over to attack the black king. So F3, get out of here. Uh -uh. Okay, can I play H? Can I play? Nah. Let me bring the queen over. So transfer the queen to the king's side, then to H4. And now I'm ready to play the thematic rook lift that we see in the Kali system. So f4, I want to play rook f3, so it doesn't make sense to take their knight because then a pawn is going to land on e4. Um, there we go, rook lift, and then rook roll over to put the rook on h3. Mm All right, so it's time to, yeah, I need to get my rook to g3. Now, f5, very powerful, and then my rook goes to g3. Look at this powerful bishop. Pieces active, tactics are going to be in the air. Now, if they take with the bishop, of course, we're going to play six, and that's it. If they take with the pawn, well, the g file opens up, and we have to have something here. There we go. Hmm... All right, I think we can add more. I'm thinking I could go to h5 and then get to g6, or I could take advantage of the pin on the d5 pawn. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oof. All right. Thank you. And now this is just even easier. We put pressure and our opponent collapsed. All right. Very good game. We made it to 2100, and I'll see you in our next game.